Hello and welcome to some out of the park baseball. In future videos, you'll frequently see me going over uh, something that I say will be tested. Today I'm going to show you exactly how I do it and how you can do it yourself. Um, as far as the testing, I might occasionally mean hundreds of years of sims that I've been through, but I'm usually going to be referring to this, a standardized game where I can make small adjustments to players in order to test out certain attributes. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do is boot up a fictional league and make sure that you have only two teams enabled and all the minor leagues disabled. Then you're going to want to go to League Settings. Go to Rules, Disable Trading, Disable the Draft, and uh, turn on the Designated Hitter. Go to Financials and make sure players are getting zero dollars all around. Make sure that you've also disabled free agency. I'm pretty sure I left everything standardized in options. Make sure you're not getting any naturally generated free agents. Don't worry about that. Uh, that doesn't really have any effect. And then go to global settings. Make sure you have scouting at the most accurate possible, 100% accuracy, 1 to 100 rating skill, and 20 to 80 overall values. Make sure you have ratings greater than uh, max enabled. Um, make sure you've disabled coaching and owner goals. Also make sure you've disabled injuries and you'll be pretty much good to go. Then go to one of your two teams and delete all players except for one pitcher and one hitter. These are going to be the basis for your thing. For the hitters, you want to make sure that they all have the hitting ability of 100 across the board except 80 avoid Ks. Now I built this to replicate a realistic modern major league environment. If you're looking for an older environment or just a neutral environment, your stats are going to be different. But uh, if you're looking for a modern environment, you want to pretty much follow these guidelines. Then you want to go down to the defense and make sure their defensive ratings are 100. That's going, or 50, exactly average. That's going to be different for each position, so I'll go over every single one. For catcher, you want their ability and arm to be 100. Additionally, you want to make sure that players' defenses do not exist for positions that you do not want them to be eligible at, so just set those all to zero. You want them to play their primary position, and that's it. Set their height to 185 and their weight to 200. You can make these values different. This is just the generic natural value that I decided to do it to. I made everybody bat right-handed because I'm not testing platoon splits, so I made everything even, and yeah. For first base... You're going to want, I believe, 60 defense across the board. Yep, 60 defense for every infield attribute. For second base, you're going to want 100 defense for every infield attribute. Another note for first base, uh, height affects it, so if you're doing something different than the 185 centimeters, you're going to need to change those ratings. 120 for third base. I believe it's 130 for shortstop. It is. I believe it is 90 for left field. Yep. I believe it's 135 for center field. It is. I believe it is 110 for right field, and you want to have zero defense for your designated hitter. Uh, for your utility players, which I have four of, a backup catcher, a utility infielder, and a utility outfielder, as well as a super utility guy. You want to make sure that their batting ratings are the same to keep pitching attributes normalized, but you want to decrease their defensive ratings relative to your starters so that you, uh, the AI does not start them over somebody else. So for the utility infielder, I cut out their infield defenses slightly below first base, the utility outfielder, I cut their defenses slightly below left field. And for the super utility, I cut them from both the infielder and outfielder. Your backup catcher is the one position where you can leave it just the exact same. Now, as for your uh, getting these players, I would strongly recommend not just doing everybody. Like I said earlier, 
uh, delete everyone except one batter, one pitcher, make one batter with these ratings, then, uh, here, I'll show you how to do this. Then you want to clone him. And then to get him on your team, you go to free agents, you click on him, you go to editor, this tab right here that says team information, select new team. You first select the league, the fictional baseball league, and then the team that you want to assign the player to. So since I'm building from the Marauders, I will assign him to the Marauders. Once you have finished creating uh, your player, make sure to change their defensive ratings for each position and you should be pretty much good to go. As for the pitching, I gave each pitcher slightly above average stuff, average movement and control, and an average ground ball rate, a slightly above average, 25% above average stamina, and average hold runners. I gave them the four normal pitches, fastball, curveball, slider, and changeup. And if you come here, you can see that I set all their batting ratings really low. All their base running ratings really low. Gave them the starters have 125 stamina. Everyone throws 92 to 94 with the three quarter slot, and everyone has an even split. Uh, their pitches are all 125 grade, and as you can see, their movement and control is average. Their hit batsmen and wild pitches are each five, and they balk one in their uh, 300 or 900 at bats. For their defense, I set it to 40, 40, 140, but again, pitcher defense isn't super important and you can set it to whatever you like. For the relief pitchers, I left it the exact same as the starting pitchers with a couple small adjustments. I adjusted their stamina to 50 instead of 125, and I took out the changeup and the slider, leaving them with just their fastball and curveball. And once you've finished your starting pitcher, again, you replicate them five times. Then you replicate him an additional time, get your relief pitcher, take out those two pitches, and then replicate him to fill your team. Once you're done with the first team, you just clone the entire team and assign them to your second team. Then you got your league set up. As for testing itself, I would strongly recommend not testing actual players in the game or uh, a hypothetical player that you want to try out in a league like this. This is normalized for a major league environment, but it's... The ratings are low, and I have not currently been able to fix this, so a player is much stronger in this league than he is normally. I will be working on a fix for that and then releasing a uh, add-on version of this video later to account for that. One last thing you want to change before you get started on your testing. Ballpark factors. I have set with this build uh, average to 0.95, so in other words, 1 out of 20 would-be hits is not a hit, and home run factored 1.1, in other words, an additional 50% home runs are added. I set the same part factors for both teams, and I would recommend you do the same unless you're testing out different part factors. Now, as for what you can test out with this, as it is right now, uh, you can test out for example, let's say I want to see what the difference in a performance of this pitcher is between a normal changeup and a circle changeup. So let me swap out his normal changeup for an equal grade circle changeup. And now I will create a simulation module. 162 games. Actually, I'm going to make this 200 games, the maximum, in order to increase the depth. And I will simulate. Uh, as you can see, uh, I forgot to name him. Okay, that's a problem. Another thing you need to do is make sure you name your players so that you can differentiate them from everybody else. So I will name this guy Charlie Changeup. Just so that I can see exactly who he is and uh, be able to, unlike last time, differentiate him from all the other pitchers. So it looks like he was pretty much middle of the pack in pitching. ERA just below four. He did pitch more innings than almost anybody else, however. Um, he had 234 strikeouts, just barely more than one per inning. He had a higher rate of walks than any other pitcher. 
He gave up more home runs as well than all but one other pitcher, but he threw more innings. And he had a decent whip and a decent opponent average. So, as you can see, this isn't really a huge sample size, especially for a pitcher. So you're probably going to have to run a couple simulation modules in order to actually get an idea of what it is. Uh, you can change around ratings for each player and figure stuff out on their performance through large sample sizes and lots of simulation modules. Once you're done testing a player out, you simply delete them and then clone an identical player either from the same team or the opposite team and then sign them from the free agent class and you've got your guys back. And then you've reset the league to normal. I would also recommend saving this as a quick start league once you make it the first time in order to be able to quickly boot it up or in case you lose it or uh, change things up to the point where you can't recover it, you can quickly get everything back. Couple more things. As for strategies, you wanna make sure that everything is disabled. You wanna have everything on normal unless you're testing out specific strategy. In terms of finances, you wanna make sure that everything is set to zero here as well. For your owners, priorities make sure that their involvement is a one and everything else doesn't really matter. Make sure that you do this with both teams as well. For personnel, you want to make sure that you have everything off. If it says no coaches in the game, then you have selected that setting. If not, then you need to make sure you do. And that's just about it. As you can see, uh, you can test against an average normal team in this league. Just make sure that you know what it is you're doing and that you make sure to get a large enough sample size to reliably uh, trust your data. And I guess that'll do it for now.